<laughs> All right, thanks for joining us, Anya. I am so excited to speak with you about the uh, your movie, Glass House, which uh, it recently dropped, right? Yeah. Was that um, this month in June? I think 12th of 12th of June, if I'm not mistaken. I might okay. be mistaken. Okay, so but, just over a week ago. Um, yeah, more or less, yes. Yeah. yeah that's also, cool. thank you for having me. <laughs> oh, of course. Thank you for joining me. Um, so first I want to know, um, how was this presented to you? Did you reach out? Did you, were you, did somebody come to you? Just give me a little bit of that before we dig into Evie and the actual context of the film. Okay, so I've got um, an agent that represents me in South Africa. Um, uh, so all my auditions that I go for um, will will come through them. And yeah, my agent just contacted me the one day. Um, it was very rushed. Um, it was made known that there were deadlines. <laughs> so I think it was like the Wednesday my agent sent me... Um, sent me like the sides and everything and said like it's you know it's urgent they they are pressed they need to cast their leads and they meet, need to make their final decisions and they're struggling and um I think like by the end like the next day they wanted the tapes and it was like a bunch of scenes and you know it's 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 quite it's intense characterization that you've got to sit and do and research and formulating that character and they wanted me to not only audition for Evie but for B as well um although I think they had had um they'd had an idea of you know casting um just just um Alexander as B but I think there was just there was method to the madness they they wanted to see me just attempt to do both characters um although I do think they they had um in their minds say they, they had me um wanted to see me for Evie so I think I was literally so yeah so quick um by the end of the Thursday I submitted my tapes for Evie, Evie by the end of the Friday I've submitted my tapes for B and um and then it was just kind of a waiting game and I can't remember exactly how long it was but um Kelsey and uh, and Emma got in contact with me and basically just said they absolutely loved it and had a chat and by that time didn't um, um everything still had to go through for approval but essentially just telling me like how happy yeah they were with my tapes and what you know the the, the character that I've already proposed and uh, obviously there's more work to be done but I think I think what really maybe got them, and I don't know, um, in my opinion, <laughs> what maybe got them convinced um, to cast me is, I think I just gave a really strong first, first character proposal. And I think I really resonated with that character of Evie. Um, and, you know, it's in this industry, you might do 100, 100 auditions, you might only land one job. So I think it was a combination of good timing and the right person. And yeah, I think it, it just all it happened happened in the best way possible. <laughs> so obviously, it seems like they were trying to get a little bit of range from you with the, yes. both of the, the roles, you know, that you were trying out. Exactly, um, yeah. Was there ever a time where you were hoping that you might be able to play B? I think, uh, no. You I, always I, wanted Evie? I wanted Evie. I resonated I resonated a lot with things about both characters, but I think Evie in general as actors are, are food, <laughs> as I can put it like that. Like what we strive and live for is, is a challenging character to play. Um, that's where we learn, that's where we, you know, we struggle, but we learn so much from that struggle. So that's what we, at the end of the day, what we want. And I knew Evie would be a challenge. Um, I, I, I resonated a lot with her, but I knew bringing all of that across on camera would be a massive challenge. I think for me, for B, I've played a lot of characters like B in the past. Um, and I don't think, I, yeah, I don't, in that sense, I might not have done it justice just because I think I would have, just. it was almost just too, happy and I love playing deep dark characters with a lot of issues <laughs> so, not to say that B doesn't have but um I think Evie just uh, enticed me like really really enticed me so I, I was definitely hoping for Evie so okay I'm not going to go into any spoilers we'll have a section later on where we can you know touch on that but Perfect. when they gave you the initial script you know mm -hmm. after you had tried out when they gave you the, the full script did that, did they include the, 
like twist and the ending and everything that happened uh in the like third act of the film yeah so we did receive the entire script obviously once we were casted we did receive everything so we were able to know what was going to happen uh still had a lot of questions though <laughs> it's one of those things that even when you read the script you're like wait so it was almost like as we were shooting, we were also just figuring things out as we were going. I had so many moments where I was like, oh my God, this makes so much sense now. Um, so I think even after reading it, it's so complex and there's so many layers to it. And, and I mean, the characterization, it's not, a, it's not a movie driven by one, you know, you've got your main character and then you've got all the side characters. It's so driven by everyone everyone's got such an intricate storyline and so much going on. So when you read it for the first time, there's, it's impossible to pick up on everything. Um, so yeah, we did, we did receive it and it was quite interesting. You like had a lot of like <gasps> moments, but and, the, and it was like, the shooting like process, we were just figuring things back out through it a couple of times. Yeah. More. 100%. Yeah. Like I was just, but even when I watched it for the first time, same. I think I, that is I also saw that moment I where I was like, wait, what? Yeah, that's also how <laughs> I felt. Yeah. We were it's sitting so, there, we yeah. sat there in the living room and we were like, we're going to have to watch this again. <laughs> like, just to, just to <laughs> even... Everyone told me, my family, my boyfriend, like, my friends, everyone who watched it was like, I have so many questions. <laughs> well, because like, you get that extra context, uh, extra yeah. context with the third ad third act's content that's yeah. still you know spoilery um yeah. you have to go back and watch it again and see all the little pieces you know exactly the, the that's threads. when everything else starts making sense yeah it makes it but i mean it's cool it still, still leaves you with a lot of questions that's kind of what i like about it it's very it teases you in that way so for anybody who has not seen this movie can you give kind of a, an explanation from your point of view of what this is yeah um it's about a family um it's at the at the root of it it's about family dynamics but it's about family dynamics when you put it in a completely different world so everything that we have around us all the luxuries that we're used to all of that is taken away and this family is put into a situation where it's fight or flight life or death every single day everything's a threat and you've got to be so careful about what you do and what you say, because anything could mean the end of your existence like that. So you start seeing the pressures of this world, what it, co what it causes this family to go through. Um, you see what happens when someone throws a spanner in the works and a threat is now introduced into the family and how it changes all the dynamics. Um, what the long lasting effects of something like that is um, in such a close environment. This is the problem. Their lives are so integrated, but at the same time, they've got to tiptoe around, tiptoe around each other so much because ultimately they're your family, but you still don't know who you can trust. You still don't know if someone's going to turn around and stab you in the back. So I know in terms of my character specifically, it's a constant internal struggle within this world, um, within trying to survive, but at the same time, trying to be a part of a family, a loving family who loves each other. So yeah, and then you live in a world with that's you know it's it's you your family and that's that um everything else is taken away and you've got to you've got to work from scratch and forage your own food and make plans to survive so what were your thoughts on the minimal cast and the minimal location oh it was amazing i absolutely loved it the moment i walked into that conservatory it was just it was stunning um I think it went above my expectations when when we got to the location at the first time. I just I was so in awe of it and what they did with it. Um, it was visu visually just absolutely beautiful. Um, and then, yeah, in terms of the cast, it was really nice being a part of it's I think it's always nice being a part of such a small group of people creating something so intense because it really pushes you together and it, you become like a. Um, what is it hive mind <laughs> like it's everyone's got to think together it's about creating it ultimately we've all got to put our heads together and and make this thing come to life um and and when you're working I mean it's not even the the the, the physical 
the physicality behind this movie and what it took from all of us. It's not just mental. It's we were shooting that conservatory became like a sauna every day. So we're in there in the heat, sweating. You know, you've got makeup coming at you from all angles or every and now and again. Big and costumes. The, the costumes and the running. And it was physically uh, took a toll on all of us. So I think definitely all of us bonded over that. Um, so yeah, it was, it, I think it was a, a privilege to get to shoot in such a beautiful place and get to shoot with like like minded people and you know it's you're all working towards a common goal um yeah. so it just kind of forces all of you together yeah everybody's working to create similar art exactly. the same art so i that's really exciting um i think that i i guess my next question um leading off of that would be would like what would you have potentially changed about your character to make it do you think fit better in with the the uh story or with the family or is that something well, you're afraid to say because you don't want to hurt kelsey's feelings <laughs> no um no in all honesty i don't think i'd change anything about evie i think Evie is exactly what she needs to be in uh, under those circumstances. And what has happened to them and their family has literally molded and created her into exactly what she ended up being. And I don't think anything that I, I mean, I could possibly say some things, but I don't think, I, I, I think, I don't think it would have done it any justice changing anything about Evie and the lead the the you know the leadership that Kelsey gave me um in terms of how to portray this character was absolutely spot on I mean for me to be able to watch one of my own films and and be really proud of the performance that I gave I think that meant so much to me so knowing that I feel that way about it after I saw it I don't think I would change anything I would and I'm an honest person so if I did I would have said but I think it was I think it, yeah the character was exactly what it needed to be and Kelsey had told me that you guys filmed during the pandemic I believe yes. so that must yes. have been just an extra stressor for everything that was going very on. very stressful I mean even with um Jessica it was I know like with her uh, there was major issues with getting the visas approved and like she got her visa approved like a day before they decided to like cut all I'm not too sure but like there was like a cutoff and she got her like everything approved like the day before so if it wasn't if uh, like if it were one day later something you know was delayed by a day we wouldn't have had Jessica they would have had to recast so it was yeah, it was definitely, and obviously you go on set and there's rules and regulations and of um, being keeping safe and keeping everyone safe. And so I think it was definitely yeah, it was it was uh, a bit different. It was different than what a film set would usually have been in the past, but it was good. It, we made it work. We made it work. So um, is this? I guess a question that I forgot to ask Kelsey. Yep um why is something i was trying to figure out during the movie i'm not sure if it's a piece i missed but why mm -hmm. were you why did you have two letters instead of just one like b um what you mean the name or, yeah. or, or, or... like the letter as on the necklaces hers was just b right yeah and yours is and, uh, my... e with two letters. no no mine no mine was just e oh i had thought yeah that for some reason no no just, no no mine mine was just e as well everyone just had the one letter i'm sorry see that's why okay <laughs> that's where i was confused for some reason i thought you had it was like letters and uh, I, that's why i wanted to see what the difference was there oh uh, no 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 it was b b had b i had e um yeah we just did it uh, oh, everyone no, had, no, no. had it. yeah okay um had you ever worked with any of the cast members before I had um, I had um, the privilege to work with Adrian, um, who played Mother. Um, so I actually, in my very first feature film that I ever did, uh, was in 2015. I shot that. She also played my mom. <laughs> Although we didn't get to, we only had one day um, on set together for that. 
um, because in that storyline, um, the mom had committed suicide. So all, the, all that you really see of the mom um, is uh, like fla- uh, two flashback scenes, mm-hmm. essentially, um, in which we had like, and one of those flashbacks was a scene that we had together. Yeah. So it was really amazing for me to be able to say she's playing my mom again but this time I get to like act with her (laughs) essentially I get to like do nice meaty scenes with her so yeah that was um that was awesome I haven't gotten to work with any of the other actors before but yeah Adrian and I um were super happy when we found out we're going to be get to work together again and we've yeah we we created a really strong bond throughout the shoot and Adrian really delivered a commanding performance um which you know makes me want to ask like do you feel like that makes you more nervous on set or do you feel like that you know kind of has you step up and you're like okay this you know I know you said you have to work as as a hive mind but there's a point where you have to get to that to that place in the first place yeah so as far as like communication and everything she is very her performance was very commanding it was that something that intimidated you did you step up and take it as a challenge how was that for you no I think um no I would never find any like amazing performances intimidating I only just take inspiration from it so like to see her on set and you know Adrienne's got so much experience she's done amazing things um so I think I was incredibly inspired by watching her she had so much advice to give um about the smallest of things things that you never think of um so I think for for myself as a young actress being on set with her it was incredibly inspirational um I took a lot from her and her knowledge and I think it's always amazing to be able to act opposite someone who gives you so much because it affords you to be able to give that and even more back to them um right. i think you yeah, for me it's an it was an absolute thrill being able to act towards her or sorry opposite her just because of how strong her performance was and how strong her character was i think that really helped me to solidify my character as well yeah certainly that sounds that sounds awesome um was it would you say that's the same with the rest of the cast pretty much yeah everyone everyone was amazing everyone had I mean, even Kitty, and she's so young, bless her. She's so talented. Like the performances that she gave and Brent for Merlin, um, uh, also a young up, up and coming actor in South Africa. The young the boy. Perform- I can, I, yes, yeah. Okay. So he uh, played uh, Gabe, the younger brother. Right. Um, I mean, the amount of, I think I can, I can name, I wouldn't name it now specifically, but there's a moment on set that I could name for each and every person where they had this like moment where they just had this absolutely awe inspiring performance that they gave. Um, And that was awesome. I think that's that hive mind that started setting in and everyone had this moment where you just be like, Oh my, Oh my God, that was amazing. So I was super, super impressed with everyone and like what they brought to the table. I think everyone was cast so perfectly for, for, for these characters and ended up like just doing them justice. So whether it be um, in this movie or in a different role, do you, do you recognize that in your own performances when somebody, like you said, when somebody steps up, gives an amazing performance, are you able to recognize that in yourself or are you too critical and more critical? I don't know. Because <laughs> <I think laughs> you hate- said like everybody stepped up, everybody had a moment. Yeah. Did yes. you see one for Evie or do you I not think- necessarily look at yourself that way? No, I do think I'm very critical of myself. So when I do have a day, I tend to be like, and if I have like a great moment, I'll be like, oh, that was great. But if I have a bad moment on set, and you know, we're only human beings, we have our off days. And I tend to be a lot harder on myself and dwell on the bad moments, which is not something I should always do, but it's tough. Um, so, but I definitely think, yeah, I think I had definitely, when I watched the film, surprisingly, I think the moments where I was like, when I watched the film was not the same, same moments necessarily that I felt on set. So there's the specific days on set where I walked off and I think like, I, I feel like I really did amazingly in the scene today. But when I ended up watching the movies, there were other moments which on set might have not felt that great to me. But the moment I watched it, I was like, I was, I was very captiv- captivated and I was looking at it as if it wasn't even me. And that to me was amazing. Like that actually brought tears to my eyes in that sense of like, 
feeling proud of yourself and your own work. And I think that's important for us in this industry because we we are our products and we put ourselves on the line every single day um, to bring these types of things into, you know, into the world. So I think when you can have that moment of watching yourself and being like, I didn't even recognize me in that, but it was, I, the emotion was pure. It was so moving. Like a moment like that is very special to share something like that with yourself about yourself. So I think I did have a moment like that, I think, but yeah, not like I said, only when I watched the movie, I think I realized what those true moments were. And there was a bit of your answer there that was an amazing, you know, it's going to be an amazing quote for me to preface your article with because you just, you just laid it down very politically <laughs> and, and uh, hey. thanks for putting it that way. Um, amazing. <laughs> so since we're getting, you know, closer to the uh, third act of the uh, interview, why don't we yes. talk about some of the spoilers um, from the movie? When you okay. first read the act, or, sorry, when you first read the script, what were your thoughts on the spoilers? Like, or, or like, what were your thoughts on the, the twists and certain things once they started coming to light? And you can like name off which ones like made you feel a certain way for listeners, watchers, readers, anybody who hasn't seen the movie yet. If you're not looking to get any spoilers, now is the perfect time to sign off. Okay, so can I like say... Am you I allowed to say anything I you want? I don't know what I'm allowed to say or not. <laughs> yeah, you can say anything you want. The okay. movie's already out, and and I just told everybody to, to yes. get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. Um, I think okay. Now I need to think. I think need to think because it's obviously like two years ago for me that all of this has happened already. So more than two years. So I'm just trying to recollect my thoughts here. Um, trying to think, what was the biggest. I think for me, what threw me quite a lot was close to the end, how I didn't throw it through Anya. I didn't throw Evie. <laughs> I, when you're Evie, you're someone else. And, but, but what threw me was ultimately not even that Evie was, you know, responsible for Gabe, what happened to Gabe, not, not, none, none of that. What threw me was, the fact that Evie was willing to, in the end, sacrifice her sister. In the end, she just kind of said, you know, this I've I've never give, done anything for myself. I've I'm the one, I'm the one that had to remember everything. I had to suffer with all the memories and carry the weight of this entire family. And I'm gonna do something for myself. And selfishly did what she needed to do to lead a better life and to create a better life for herself. Um, and I think that kind of, yeah, I think that like, I was, I did like, I didn't know if Evie had the guts to do that. <laughs> so when I saw that, I was like, it was a part of like, like a mixture of shock and, and a mixture of like, you go girl, you do you boo, get your life. <laughs> so I think, I think, yeah. And, and the fact that like throughout this entire film, like Evie is so bottled, she keeps everything inside. and then those moments as well when she like in the script when you read the script and she just loses it was also like very thrilling and very exciting but at the same moment like what what is this going to cause because she's the one the glue that holds everything together so yeah I think those moments are the moments that really got me um and then especially that moment when you see you can clear, very clearly see in her eyes that when she makes that decision um and that's a you know it's a 50 50 she could go either way so that's a big one when you see her make that decision yeah and it's like the obviously the more the movie goes the more it untwists and unravels and it just gets yeah. crazier and crazier it's like you're sitting there and your eyes are just like yeah it's just shock, <laughs> shock, and, shock and more shock oh, that's actually another thing that i was really shocked by is the fact that you the one of the big uh, big twists for me as well was when you find out that they are not necessarily even the original family they could all not even be related to each other there was a b and an evie before this b and evie so that 
that that's also what like got me that is what got you know, me ultimately and now they just also like they want to they just decide to replace gabe they can just get a new gabe like that that got me um as well reading the script for the first time you were just like wait what what are you telling me everything that i believed about this family is a lie <laughs> so yeah <laughs> yeah that's it was crazy it was crazy yeah. that was that was i mean i don't want to say arguably my favorite part of the movie but it was definitely the biggest yeah. twist i was just like Holy what? <laughs> what is happening? Um, <laughs> Everything's a lie. Anything you would have t- changed about those twists? You think it was perfect way to end? I think it was a good way to end. I think what I've heard from everyone is like, what what happened after that? What what's gonna happen? <laughs> and then I think that's kind of what the point was. Just leave everyone with questions. It's kind of open ended in that manner, like you get these big bombs dropped and then it's just like okay bye <laughs> and yeah so i think um i think it it did the job the I twists mean, did what it was supposed to yeah i agree with you i think it worked perfectly now do you have anything um from prior to do you have anything uh, any projects that you had done prior to this that you would like people to go back and check out and see more of your work um yeah I mean I did um I recently just played like a small role in um uh international feature film as well called Redeeming Love um very small role but also like such an amazing story um I've yeah I wish I could watch that film again for the first time because I thought it was really really beautiful and this is I'm quoting my boyfriend on this this is what he told me um so not not me saying that technically, but I'm going to steal it because um, he, he worded it so perfectly when he said that. Um, and then um, I had, I mean, I did some really fun films uh, a couple of years ago in 2018, I believe, um, for Netflix. Um, I know it's on Netflix South Africa. I'm not too sure, but I'm, I think it should be on um, uh, US Netflix as well, probably UK um called i know two of them are on netflix called um camp getaway and the house on seahorse bay those are really fun films i wouldn't call them serious films but you know those types of movies like teen fun teen movies where there's like a group of kids and there's a mystery and they go and they solve the mystery and right um yeah i was a part of um of of three of those projects and it was really fun. It was, yeah, it was just so lighthearted and um, really fun to be a part of. So those are on Netflix. Um, really, really nice movies for a younger audience to be able to enjoy. Um, other than that, yeah, I've just done some local stuff and like nothing major, nothing massive. Uh, Glass houses, just yeah, essentially kind of the the, the biggest up to date. <laughs> As well, what can you plug about what you have coming up in the future? I know the pandemic has really screwed things yeah. up, um, but I was yeah. just curious if you have anything lined up or that you already have in production. Yeah, nothing major. I've got um, a small character lined up in a um, a local Afrikaans series. Um, and then I've also just got another small character lined up in like a crime documentary type um, thing called Aryans. Um, other than that, nothing else at the moment. Okay, awesome. And then is there any social media you'd like your fans to find you on or anything else you'd like to plug on this platform? Yeah, I mean, my social media is mostly I don't really use my Facebook, although I do have it. My Facebook would just be my name, Anya Talyard. And then my Instagram is also just, um, I think it's just at Anya Talyard as well. Um, So they are more than, yeah, like welcome if they want to follow my Instagram is not popping but <laughs> <laughs> yes my boyfriend is way better at Instagram than I am I'm ashamed to say um but yeah if if ever they want to follow me and just see what I'm up to then that would be the platform okay awesome well um I think that pretty much wraps it up I appreciate you so That's much it. for joining me today thank and, you so much uh, you stay safe yes you 